Welcome back to uh, The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Let's tell you what happened today. Uh, in 2008, Barack Obama was elected president of the United States of America, the first black president, to be very precise. And it was a time of you know, great joy across the country. It was not just in the United States, especially for the black community or the... Uh, I'm sure that word is not very, very nice. You can't say they're black because it sounds very racist. So yes, Barack Obama defeats Senator John McCain of Arizona to become the 44th U.S. president and the first African-American elected to the White House. At the time, he was 47 years old, a Democrat, and he um, gathered 365 electoral votes, nearly 53% of the popular vote, while a 72-year-old uh, Republican challenge Challenger captured 173 electoral votes and more than 45% of the popular vote. Obama's vice presidential running mate was Senator Joe Biden, who is now the president of the United States of America, while uh, McCain's running mate was uh, the governor, Sarah, and uh, she was from Alaska, the first female Republican ever nominated for the vice presidency. Now, during the general election campaign as the primaries, uh, Obama's team worked to build a following at the grassroots level and use uh, what he, I mean, his supporters viewed as candidates' natural charisma, unique lifestyle story, inspiring messages of hope, and, you know, change to draw large crops, uh, crowds to his public appearances. Of course, you see that every time Barack Obama makes an appearance. I mean, he has this charisma he has this he has this thing you know about leadership and uh, he looks very good by the way the campaign was notable for its unprecedented uh, use of internet for organizing uh, constituent and fundraising at the time according to uh, Washington Post three million donors made a total of 6.5 million donation donation online adding up to more than uh, 500 million dollars of course 6.5 million uh, donations, six million were in all of that. Uh, it was really, 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 really a great one at the time for Barack Obama. And uh, a lot of people till today still celebrate Barack Obama. Yeah, um, yes, absolutely. He also is one of those, well, one of the American presidents that ran eight whole years without any scandals whatsoever. There was absolutely nothing. And, you know, it, it's, it's crazy because it's, Crazy? It's, 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 it should be a good thing. Well, it's, it's the United States where the system basically will find every single reason to not have a black man in the White House. Um, and so for him to have survived eight long years without any scandals, without any allegations, without anything whatsoever, made him definitely one of the most phenomenal um, you know, presidents for the United Some States. He also has been criticized mm. you know, a few times for... Uh, bombing Syria and a couple of places, you know, it says uh, he, he ordered us, you know, uh, uh, thousands of bombs to be fired into Syria. Um, and, you know, the during the Arab Spring also. Um, so th those are some of the things that he's also been criticized for. But, well, still one of my favorite presidents, my president. No, your president. Yes. You live in Nigeria. <laughs> 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 okay. So, but I, I mean, some persons actually would say that um, that's because he was never criticized because he, the book he published, uh, he put out all of his story, his life. He felt like everything was already in the book, and Doesn't then there matter. was really, and there was really but nothing because he, he felt like everything was already in there. So there's really nothing, you know, to hold them oh, uh, well. up against. I, I think I think there's there's always going to be some, you know, scandal from Bill Clinton to George Bush to, to the rest of them. Anyway, stay with us. So we'll uh, take a short break. When we come back, we're moving into our first major discussion for today. Um, we're going to be talking, looking deeper rather, into the Ikoi building collapse, other angles you know, that we have not yet spoken about. And uh, we'll get into that right after the short break.